It's been a long time. So much bounty hunter has been going on in the Discord that uh, I've just been kind of steering clear of all those races. But we have some new races, this time a safe logic race, where uh, I have a chance to steal the world record by Durdrock. Not Durdrock B, sorry, it's just Durdrock. There we go. One hour, three minutes in 12 seconds. We are stealing this world record. It is mine. Uh, at least that's the goal. And of course, if you're watching over on Dragonwoods Daily, first of all, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a ton if you haven't done so already. Uh, and to leave a comment for the algorithm. Everybody who's been doing that, it's been helping my channel a lot lately, and I'm very happy about it. Thank you, everybody. Gamba, yes. Let me set up a Gamba in just a second, if you would like. And if you're watching on Dragonwoods Daily, you could always join the live streams where you can uh, do some Gambas, some, some chatting, some emote spam. Uh, and just generally uh, hang out with the community and stuff. We'd love to see you in the chat sometime. Um, do I steal world record? Yes or no? He's got, you guys have two minutes to decide. Do I steal this world record? Yes or no? <clears throat> Go crazy. Yeah, you could spam the spinning fish by typing Joel with a capital J in chat, and it'll show up right here. Maybe the algo curse is lifting? Maybe. Wait, what's going on? Why is Alucard moving so slow, guys? <laughs> what? It the game just feels so slow right now. I've been doing a lot of the zero friction stuff on stream. And uh, it feels weird to be playing the game normally. <laughs> Someone turned the friction back on. Oh, man. Alrighty. Everything is random sprites and items and names and such, so. <clears throat> That's something I'm going to have to remember how to deal with. This is safe logic, so I believe it's complexity uh, nine. Minimum complexity nine. Randomized item sprites. <clears throat> World record of a little over an hour. Uh, let's see what we can do. I'm still uh, a little bit sick, so I'm getting over a cold. So if I sound weird, that's why. Short sword. Okay. Cloth tunic. Okay. Don't need that. <clears throat> we move on. Beware of static electricity. Mystic Pendant. That's probably a sellable gem if I had to guess. Really? All right. Took damage there. Saber. Okay. That could be good. <clears throat> Yep, it is good. <clears throat> it is a chrysogram. I'm not going to say no to a chrysogram. Shield potion, okay. <clears throat> what the fuck? I mean, sometimes you just find chrysogram as like your second item in the game. That happens. Oh, it's a saber, all right. Really? What a lovely song. Dude, I just wish my throat would stop feeling like doo-doo. Because I feel perfectly fine from my cold, except for my throat. That is the only thing that still is, like, annoying. Oh, well. Saber? I hardly know her. Good, good one, yes. Keep up the good jokes, chat, please. It does feel like I have to fight the urge to, like, do the zero uh, friction tech that I'm used to. 
Just drink the high potion IRL. <clears throat> Sometimes you be getting high with the potion, you know what I'm saying? I have a theory drive for gonblitz and drive for gonblitz daily and drive for gonblitz just one person. What? Who is dry for gonblitz? That's a crazy theory. No one will believe you. You have no proof. Do, do, do. Dry throat friggin' blit. Yeah, that's me. My throat do be feeling quite dry. Even though I'm drinking so much water. <clears throat> do we go caverns right away? It's a nine complexity. So it's weird because either you go into the caverns where there's two checks or you go to Castle Keep where there's one. Those are the only major options. I think I'm going to try caverns just to try something new. Because I think in most cases, I would go to Outer Wall first <clears throat> to at least get the warp there or something. Can't grab that. Here's my idea. I think I'm going to save split this. Mm. If you have the 7TV emote extension, you could type a colon and then like the start couple letters of an emote and it'll like help you autofill it just fyi to everyone spamming joel in chat uh this way so i'm gonna check this and if it's not here i think i'll soft reset and then go to the library basically do like a weird early save split type thing here that's my idea i don't know how good it is It doesn't feel like an amazing idea. Also, I love how I leveled up off of the, the Scylla Worm and not the actual boss fight itself, and I got fucking trolled. Mm. I am going to save split this. I do have to remember to come back for it, though. That's annoying. So now I think the play is go to Outer Wall, do all that shit. It's just going to take fucking forever, man. That is the downside of uh, early Jewel of Open Seeds. Is that sometimes you just get freaking owned. <clears throat> like that was a two minute detour almost. Just for something that ended up not mattering. But I'm still going to have to go back for it anyways. It's unfortunate. I don't know if those are any good. I'll grab them. I mean, we already have Chrysogrim, so it's going to be hard to find much else. I mean, a shield would be really nice. Some shield dashing would be great. Fire Boomerang is pretty useless. Oh, 
I mean, if we find some decent movement early or soon, maybe some out of logic flight or something, we won't be in too bad of a spot. So many Joel, I know. I'm so happy. I see Joel's in chat and I, I smile. Thank you. Are you the pink power ranger? Are you okay? Hello? Clearly not, right? Thank you for the one dollar, though. Ah, oh, shit. Well. <sighs> There's a couple different options we can take. It's like a terrible 50-50 right now. And I think the correct... Mm, there's no, like, correct play, but... Yeah. My hair is pink, so you must be the pink one. With logic like that, you know, how could you argue otherwise? Should I even keep any of this shit, to be honest? I mean, I kind of want that warp, yeah. I think I go back to the caverns, unfortunately, because this is just a true 50-50. And I have the shortcut open, so at the very least, I can attempt to navigate to castle keep afterwards relatively quickly but yeah this seed uh sucks ass just a classic early jewel of open seed where you just have to go to the two farthest parts of the castle in like a dumbass 50 50. Very typical safe speed seed, yeah. I mean, it's not over. If I make some clutch reads and skips, maybe. <clears throat> but in seeds like this, I really feel like your only chance if you want to succeed is to just like, you have to guess correctly on the 50-50 at the very beginning or else you lose. Cause it's a lot of time loss. It's like six or seven minutes. Honestly, it's one of the reasons why, like, safe logic in general is something that I'm relatively disillusioned to as far as, like, competitive racing goes. Because seeds like this are very common. I mean, there's always a chance that, like, library has a relic in it that I need, but that feels very unlikely. Dumb ass sword. And these checks are just so slow, and they're so far from each other. Some sort of armor.
have to slowly ride the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, man. Fun, very fun. Why won't the blue Luigi appear? I'm wondering. I'm wondering. If I was playing as Richter, you could whip that guy to row faster. You think Richter's into that? You think the ferryman's into that? Hold on. Hold on, wait a minute. Are we intruding on some sort of kink of theirs? I'm kind of worried that the library has, like, Leapstone or something in it, and this Jewel of Open Layer Zero is nothing. It is possible. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's warp to Outer Wall. And check the library, I guess. Because it could be shared complexity layer zero. It's possible. It's pretty unlikely, but it's possible. I just don't see how someone finishes the seed in an hour without just guessing correctly on this 50-50 or just ignoring it altogether. And that there's another relic somewhere else. Because I've spent 20 minutes to find nothing, basically. So I don't see, unless you find, like, fucking everything early. With a bunch of random Vlads everywhere. I don't see how you make up for that, you know? Soul of Bad has to be early in the um, complexity chain with like Spike Breaker being like a progression Vlad or something, I don't know. I mean, I did find the one random Vlad that's true. I think it's actually impossible for this to be Soul of Bat. I think it can be Gravity Boots, and I think it can be Leapstone. It's possible. Um, Sprite card. Dude, you're telling me they went to fucking Castle Keep immediately? That's so annoying. I'm At least I can buy some more library cards I'm to, like, help this. routing after the fact, but man. That sucks. That just feels like you just guess correctly and win, you know? But that's randomizer for you. Well, well, well. We do get a duplicator for our troubles, at least. Library card. Can I afford anything else? I mean, I can get two cross shurikens. It's pretty good. And that's about it. Farewell for now. Jewel that brings luck. What can I do for you? So why do I have this equipped? Whatever. Farewell for now. Let's get out of here. <sighs> to Castle Keep we go. Did I find some sort of potion? Yet. No, I have not. Oh, I do have a potion. I'm freaking blind. Okay. Well, now we can do some stuff. We have infinite library cards. That'll help. So I think the correct play of the seed would have been to go library first to see if there was shared complexity on layer zero, and then maybe go castle keep afterwards, warp back, go caverns after. Uh, yeah. 20 minutes, basically without finding any relics. 
<clears throat> since the beginning. Alrighty. I'm gonna have to go back into the caverns to get the Eye of Vlad anyways. It's not over, but this feels really bad. It feels like I lost, like, 20 minutes, essentially, by not guessing correctly earlier on. And I just kind of got to hope that this duplicator business saves me a bunch of time. Tribute. You Thank you, Busta. Many souls and make them your slaves. Uh, it's technically possible with the gold Medusa head, but it's really hard. I'm gonna shit my pants. Fuck off, game. Holy shit. Stop. I've already suffered enough. And I'm sick. You wouldn't be mean to a guy when he's sick. How did that not work? Ah, oh, this game sucks. Thank you. Uh, I'm getting bullied in my favorite video game chat. Help. Help me. Reported so to Twitch. Thank you. All this friction is keeping me down. That's what I'm saying, man. If it wasn't for all this friction, dude, I'd be gaming. All right, 22 minutes just to find the first real progression relic. That's cool. It's probably going to be Leapstone or Gravity Boots if I had to guess. Boots. Okay. <sighs> Could be worse. You know what? I do need the freaking warp. I can't library card yet. grab this warp and then I'm gonna library card. So that way I can check the fairy spot early. Thank you, Mohammed. For the tier three, I appreciate you. Can we get some high Joel storms in chat, please? Dude, I'm so glad I did this. I would have saved this for my last check if I didn't have these library cards. All right. All right, we have full flight at least. We can try and make a comeback. The only issue is that I don't have mana prisms, but you know. 
We'll see, we'll see. If I find a mana prism, we're in business. I mean, I have 35 minutes to find every Vlad relic, essentially. So... I mean, it's not looking amazing, but... You know, could be worse. Ooh, Echo? This early? Okay. Interesting. So that would turn Spike Breaker into layer four, correct? Because it's Jewel of Open, Bat, Echo, layer four, Spike Breaker. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I might prioritize going back to the caverns with that info. The only thing that sucks is I haven't been to Allrox's quarters yet, so I don't have the Allrox warp. But I could do those checks whenever. In fact, I might even be able to, like, efficiently skip them. This save might be a little unnecessary, but I just wanted to be safe. Leapstone. All right, I'll take it. I mean, I already had library cards, but still. Nice to have. Let me not forget to do this check. Dude, that's crazy. Nice backup, I guess. This might also be a dumb idea, but fuck it. We have this shortcut open, so we might as well use it to get to the caverns. I just don't have a lot of magic right now. A mana prism would be so nice. It's only a bad idea if it doesn't pay off. True. I don't hate this idea. Because it's like, I want to beeline it to the uh, spike breaker location as quickly as possible whilst grabbing the stuff along the way. The only thing is, I kind of want to also, real quick, do succubus and grab that uh, Vlad relic while I'm here. And that does make this a little bit more awkward, but at least I got the entrance check done as well. Because I need to find random Vlads. Like, that's the only way that I win this, I think. I have to do this again.
Let's grab this, and let's get out of here. Then we save split for um, Succubus. If it's nothing, then, you know, we reset, and then we go into the mines. Dejol few Vu. That's a good one. That's a good one. Keep it up, chat. Keep it up. Bleh. I don't need that. Eh, I can't decide if I should grab that or not. I don't think there's anything left in the shop that I want to buy. If there was mana prisms, then that'd be great, but... One Vlad. Hmm. I'm a little worried, I'm not gonna lie, that our pace is not looking amazing, but... Yeah. We reset that. Probably just barely worth, time-wise. I'm thinking. Thank you. How Akmadan has the fridged blitz boners in the vanilla game. The what? The fl the fried blitz what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Uh. Huh? Days since. Last normal TTS message. Reset back to zero. You're just asking why Aquadon has the rib of Vlad? I don't know. The game designers just be making shit up. They're like, yeah, this this mummy guy, we'll just give him a, a the the rib. I don't know. Fuck it. Yo, Jolie symbol, poggers. All right. Let's full clear catacombs. Yeah, I don't need any money. He won a raffle. <laughs> yeah, Aquadon's just chilling in the castle. Aquadon, you win a brand new rib of lad. Wow. No, they had to give it to uh, Aquadon because he was um, there since Castlevania won. Dracula only gave away his body parts to uh, his longtime friends. It's like, man, I knew you since 1980. Uh, Seven, so here you go. You get a piece of my body. Creature and Dracula go way back, exactly. All right, so I might need that. I probably will need that, to be honest.
Let's go check on uh, Spike Breaker. So that is technically the highest complexity location we could be checking right now. It's unlikely that the rings are bait, but it is possible. The ultimate fun idea is farming Urums for 999. Well, uh, joke's on you. We uh, totally already did that, right, chat? Remember when we got the Muramasa to 999? Remember when we totally did that for real, for real? Totally not a scam. It's like, you know, if you don't know how to count, it's basically at 999, right? Wow. Dude, that's kind of funny and bullshit, but wow. Both rings? That's crazy. All right, this makes my route really efficient. Because <clears throat> now I just warp to uh, castle entrance. I get to do the alchemy lab checks. Into holy glasses. Which is really nice. be a great theory video why Dracula gives the relics to the bosses. I mean, it's for the, the summoning ritual, is it not? Isn't that, like, theory confirmed? Like, I don't think we need to call Matt Pat out of retirement for this one. Like, his body parts are required for resurrecting him or whatever. I don't know. I'm not a Castlevania lore head. There's probably a Castlevania lore head that uh, knows better than I do. Also, Castlevania lore is, like, nonsensical and, like, contradictory all the time. So it's, like, whatever it's used for can just be whatever they feel like doing in the, uh, for that given game. So... And chaos, yeah, I did forget to mention chaos, my bad. Dude, no random Vlads? That really fucking sucks. I really needed some random Vlads here. That's rough. Because I have 20 minutes. So we're looking at glasses is layer five, which means we're still gonna have to come back to the first castle at some point for layer six. No. That is very unfortunate. Yeah, why did 96% of you guys vote yes? That's crazy. Someone's getting a big payout today. Yeah, we're getting pretty hardcore owned. Speaking of Saturn and Maria, I had an idea for the next no-hit challenge for Soden. Uh, dog does nothing. Uh, mana prism elixir okay
I was thinking for the next no-hit challenge, I could do uh, Richter, Maria, and Alucard all back-to-back no-hit to try and get a, a trio run no-hit. That could be fun. This looks like vanilla glasses. Yep. Okay. So second castle is layer six. Which probably means that whatever we find in the second castle, we immediately come back, right? To get to seven, eight. Yes. Well, actually, there's potential for one bait item. And that bait item has to be Spike Breaker. Interestingly enough. I have to come back with Mist anyway, so I'll get that later. I just have to remember. Oh, shit. We go second castle. We skip all rocks. To the number one so inspirer. Thank you for the 95 bits. I appreciate it. Sorry the alert doesn't uh, go off. There. I have it set to 100 minimum just to prevent people from spamming. It's probably not worth going up there just to look for a mana prism. But, yeah. Fucking ballroom mask versus holy glasses. That's so funny. I put on the item that said holy glasses and it didn't. That's funny. That's funny. You love the new Dr. Forgon uh, Blitz video? Thank you! Exclamation mark, new vid, yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I plan on making more similar to that. So I'm excited. <laughs> so we know Ring of Vlad is at, um, Mist. So essentially, I need mist in order to go back. I really hope that wasn't a uh, mana prism. Otherwise, I'm going to be really sad I didn't pick it up. I think I will do this. And I will do this. I don't have a lot of time left. For the number one spawn box speed dreamer. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, man. I'm really trying to make this comeback happen, considering how bad the start of this run was. It's possible. We just need to find some early random Vlads. Left side might have been the play, I don't know. Okay. Well, 
We do need that. We can risk it by immediately going back to the first castle with a library card, hoping that Mist is there. Because if Mist is there, we can finish the game from there pretty clearly. But we're still missing so many random Vlads. It's possible that there's a couple in the first castle in like Aurox's quarters. It's very possible. So I have to keep that in mind. Because we essentially have two relics right now. Or we have one relic and one knowledge. Uh, and knowledge of a second one. And the third one has to be somewhere in the first castle. At max complexity. Mm. Not looking good, not looking good. Making left side look kind of foolish right now. I think I'm going to go all the way to Beezlebub and then library card. I mean, it's a shield. It's nice. In case doppelganger happens. Really needed that to be a mana prism. Oh, just farm random enemies. True, actually. That could get me a random Vlad win the game. Smiley face. Just in case, dude. I really am desperate for a mana prism. Shit. That is one of the worst parts about the, the random item sprites. It's like you just end up checking a bunch of items that have the potential to be the thing that you absolutely need and then it's not it and you waste a bunch of time. Because I'd be able to skip, like, every single save room. Which, over the course of the time, uh, in the second castle, saves a lot of time. Oh my god. I'm getting fucking owned right now. Okay. If bees if bees gives me a random Vlad, then we're in business. Otherwise, I think I'm fucked, essentially. Really? Okay. All right. That kind of makes this whole route worth it. Then. 
<coughs> we just need Merman Statue to give us mist. It might just barely be possible if we get missed from this. And also, the other Vlad we're missing needs to be... I don't know, at Ulrox's quarters, I guess? Even then, I don't think there's enough time. It's really tough. Yeah, all that time we spent wasted just, like, n not getting lucky finding the exact relic location we needed is uh, catching up to us. I mean, this is our, what, third or fourth time in the caverns? Technically our fourth time in the caverns. We've had to backtrack so many times, which sucks. Yeah, if I also had found a mana prism, like, literally anywhere in the seed, but... That's how it goes sometimes. Don't worry, the... We'll simply just find it here. Mana Prism? Nope, it's just a ball. Just a ball. Unfortunate. Here's Mist, which means it's kind of a weird 50-50. Where's my library card? We're in a weird 50-50 that I'm not super stoked about. Where the last relic is either here or it's at uh, Silver Ring, but I mean, I have to check here first. I just have to. Because I'm already here. It's maybe doable in 10 minutes. Maybe. I just can't whiff on any of these. Ugh, and I immediately did. Okay. Cool. I think we need the missing Vlad to be at all rocks. Then maybe? But even then, I don't think it... We'll be close, but I think we'll still be too late. Because now I have to go all the way over here. At this rate, it probably would have been faster to just kill Minotaur and Werewolf the first time I was here. As opposed to saving this for later, but... Take off the library card? No, I'm going to use it.
I, I don't need to be backseated here. I kept the library card on purpose. Because I have to use it after um, checking Silver Ring. <clears throat> and I have nothing else to put in that slot, so there's no reason not to unequip it. Just a waste of time opening the menu. If I had a Mana Prism, I would put a Mana Prism in that slot, but that doesn't seem to be happening. Fuck off, game. Wow. Okay. If I had gotten this fucking any other point, dude, I would have saved like five minutes if I had this earlier. That's so annoying. Wow. This game fucking sucks. Man. Even with all the mistakes, it still would have been possible if I had just caught in that fucking drop earlier. Oh, well. Yeah, exclamation mark drops. Yep. Uh, as I suspected... We're gonna just barely miss out on this, too. That sucks. Even with all of the mistakes we made at the beginning. We almost brought it back. <coughs> By taking a handful of uh, key risks. And some good routing decisions. Man. Skill issues? Dude, just fuck off, man. It's not even funny. I don't know. There comes a certain point when the humor is just Lamau make fun of streamer that I just get tired of it. Like, there's other ways to be funny without, like, being a dick, I guess. Because I really did try to make this work, man. Ah, oh, I tried really hard. But I just got fucked. I don't know. Man, that's like genuinely sad. Cause I'm gonna be off by like maybe a minute. Because it should take me from here another minute to get into the second castle and then like two minutes to get to the bosses and then two or three minutes to get to the bosses and then like another minute for just cutscenes for those bosses, even if I kill them instantly. Yeah, four minutes, and it's going to take me three minutes to get there. Yeah, I'm going to be off by, like, a couple of seconds. I think less than a minute. Yeah, sometimes you just get fucked. It sucks that it was so close, too.
I did get here actually a lot faster than I thought I would. Never mind, we're getting the world record. Fuck all of you. <laughs> Lamau. I thought it took like three minutes to get here. It took me like 30 seconds. What the fuck? I guess I'm exp Oh, I was thinking it takes me three minutes if I don't have the, um, the warp. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> we are so back. I went from pure despair, man, I fucking suck at this game, I hate everything, to we are so fucking back, baby. Uh... Oh, God. It's so Jover. We're so back. Alrighty. Let's fucking kill this nerd. Damn. After all that, we barely make it. Man, prison probably helped. Um, yeah. It probably saved me, like, I don't know, maybe like 20 seconds. Because the only mana prism I would have had to... I only used the one, really, that mattered. And that was in Aurox's quarters. So I would have had to stop at the warp there. Maybe two. All right. We did it. Somehow, some way, we found the perfect route through the second castle. And I had to gamble really hard that Allrox had a random Vlad, which was not guaranteed. Um, I was hoping that it was either at Allrox or at Sword Card. Um, so we got lucky there for sure. Like, we could have easily just have gotten completely fucked by having the last random Vlad be in the second castle somewhere else, so. And we had to hard gamble that Mist was at um, Merman Statue. Because Merman Statue could have been bait, and it could have been, instead the progression was Mist was somewhere else in the second castle that led to Spike Breaker, and then those two combined to get to the final Vlad at Silver Ring. Um, Instead, it was Spike Breaker was in the second castle as a random uh, drop, and then Mist was behind um, Merman. So we got lucky. But also, I just had to make those plays to to try and squeak it out. It was fun. I'm glad. I'm glad that I was able to make a comeback after such a ridiculously bad start. Nice. Feels good. Feels good. If you're watching on Dragon Ball Daily, hey, subscribe and leave a comment down below for the algorithm. Helps me out a ton. And join the live streams over on twitch.tv slash Thank you very much.